Hey there, beloved pioneers. I have wonderful and exciting news to share with all of you. And, um, well, one of them is not so exciting because yesterday when I went hiking to the mountains, I got really struck, hit hard in my back area. And I know it's not because of walking because I never have that. I'm a mountaineer and I have a lot of walking, hiking, mountaineering experiences. And it has to do with energy, some tense release that went through this area, which didn't happen for me for like two years, I think. And yesterday it really struck me hard, so I can barely walk and I just have to take time for myself and rest today. Like, don't do anything at all, which is really hard for me. I was guided to make this video, of course, um, but besides that, I really need to rest. But there's this great thing, you know, besides this, which of course, you know, that these intense energies can cause... A lot of old energies come out, you know, things that we might have had like blockages in our bodies before. And then we've been hit by these new energies and they will purify something in our bodies. So as I say, the physical level always follows the last. When you have these tense tensions released, something like that, it's always that energy building up towards the surface, towards the most grounded area in your body, which is, you know, your body, your physical temple. Um, of course, I've also heard we have some amazing and intense solar activities going on in present right now, which I felt yesterday. The sun was so extreme and so hot. Yeah, it is July. So happy 1st July, everyone. It's a very hot, hot month here in Slovenia, where I reside right now. Um, okay, so the exciting news is, you know, lately I've been talking about these strong, intense rays of pink, the, which is the color and ray of divine love. The presence of our create creation state so to say we are all in essence divine love and um, pink is the ray of divine love all those of you who do know the three-folded flame which is blue gold and pink that is our nature that is our sacred heart so those three flames um together they they represent our union with um with our essence of who we truly are and i feel this i felt and i still feel this uh pink ray is anchoring really strong in the planet right now and that's why I decided to you know speak about it and I made a pink project I called it like that for all of you to send me your photos in pink and then I got more confirmations you know two days later after that project I went into meditation I took a crystal was it's my twin flame crystal and I um, went to do a state of divine love and that union I was focusing on a certain person and a certain event um, which is something I did for my sacred heart space. And then all of a sudden with my third eye, and also when I opened my eyes, I saw these electric pink rays. It's like bubbles, you know, they were um, moving around, through, you know, through my eye, in my eye area. And it was so intense. I'm like, could it be any more obvious, you know? So yeah, the answer is yes, it could be more obvious. So yesterday, when I was looking through the photos of my hiking trip, which I took yesterday, these rays started literally appearing in my photos. Um, a friend and I were um, taking photos of these pigs, which were there at this lodge. And I was looking at those photos and you have these rays, they're like coming in beams, you know, and they're all pinkish, white pinkish rays. And I feel it's really amazing because I, I think that's all divine confirmation, not just for me, for all of us, because, you know, divine love is not who I am. It's who you are. It's who we all are. It's our state of union. It's our state of essence. It's uh, available for everyone because we are it. So it's available for all of you because it's a universal <laughs> love flow and you just have to tap into it. And for all those of you who think, you know, sometimes I feel connected to divine love. Sometimes I don't. You always are, even though you feel it or not, because it's your essence. It's who you are. And you're always connected to that state. You're always there. Don't forget that, okay? When you're walking your journey, when sometimes it feels like things are difficult, keep reminding yourself, I'm always love divine in essence. I am always there. I never go away, even though when I consciously decide to have another experience, which is another level of love, I'm still there. I'm still always connected because this is my source nature. This is who I am in essence of all in the unity and the law of one. So I wanted to share this with all of you because I think that's a huge confirmation. And, um, Two days ago, when I went for a run, I had this amazing run and a lot of the things, again, kept integrating through me. And I wanted to share this with you as well. What is happening, you know, in, the, in our cycles of spirit when we are getting through this spiral, when we are moving ahead 
always in circle motion, always in a, not a circle, circle, but a circle, but in a spiral, you know, it feels like we're moving upwards. But if you look at it in cosmic terms, you know, that real truth that there is no just up and down, and that's a linear thinking as well. You know, it's, it's more like you're moving through the space in an unlimited way. You know, it's, it's not something that our minds could perceive as such as in moving upwards and moving downwards again that is really limited it's like it's just up and down you know the earth and the heavens it's not like that it's so much more you know in our true essence so when we are moving through the spirals and through our initiations what is happening you know i was thinking about this you know these challenges that we have i keep writing about this because i wanted to, i want to focus on this because i want to assist people who are experiencing these challenges and this is by the way everyone on the planet because these are trials we we are going through these like rites of passages to um activate us in our christed seed and our christed consciousness and our purity of divine love so what's happening you know each cycle of this new energy that activates on the planet brings in brings with it something new new vibration new platform something new for us to embody so when we do that, you know, we get this high energies. I was I've been speaking about this a lot in my older videos. And you get this and you get in a very excited, hyper state. You, you're like flowing on a ninth cloud, you know. You're like in seventh heaven, so to say, um, in metaphor. And you really feel that bliss. And then a few days later, you're like fall because your, um, your body needs to catch up with your spirit and it needs to integrate and really ground that those new energies, but what's happening? How are you basically grounding that? We are not just grounding this by meditation and focusing on our base chakra or other lower chakras, you know. We are really anchoring this, grounding this when there's a certain challenge coming into our lives as a situation or a person or something that will mirror to us that which we have been anchoring through the energies, you know, and that then challenge will show us, are we ready to really move on to the next level through the next initiation really passing this test it's not like a test you know it's not like god is this person making check notes for all of us yeah this person passed the, the exam this one did not it's not like that but we our soul chooses this chooses these tests for you for you you know to really in this body to strengthen your spirit so imagine there's this new way of energy coming let me give like this example we are anchoring harmony in relationships and um, focusing on this and all the planetary alignments and everything around is flowing in that direction and is giving, you know, universal messages about that, what the main focus is universally right now for us humans on planet Earth. So most of us who are collecting these energies, who are in this flow, who are not totally unawakened, who do follow this path, returning to the self and to our source, on that level, we will get an experience, which is an earthly experience of this, exactly that which we've been grounding through energies. So through that physical event, through that physical situation, through that person, which will be your ultimate mirror at that time, you will get to show whether you truly ground that, embody that, not just speak and know that, because we all know that from the mind. We know, but we need to apply these truths to our beingness. So what happens is we get like these tasks, like these, you know, errands and, um, the more conscious we are as observers, the more we see, oh, this is this, you know, that's why I've been having this experience. So in that knowing there is no more victim consciousness, there is no more, I don't understand why, why, you know, there is no more such thing as that. There, there cannot be because you really get it. You see that everything serves a divine purpose. It has its own beginning and an end and in the middle point, although there is no end and no beginning, it always just is. But you get to see things more clearly. And that's what happens on every level that we come to in anchoring these new energies, becoming more and more masters of the self and also masters of the physical reality, which I'm speaking in my blog this week. And moving into union on each level, you will have these rites. They're like rites of passage. They're like your initiations into firmly anchoring your spirit into matter, into this physical density. And through that, you're making this divine alchemy. So all of you who have been reading the gospel of Jesus, the Aquarian gospel, you know, he was going through the same things. He was a pure soul. He had all the knowledge and wisdom, but through physicality, he had to embody this. And he went through these stages in his initiations. So they were following um, a certain hierarchy, you know, 
Uh, first one was that. The second one was, I don't know, sincerity. The, you know, I don't remember all of them by heart right now. But the final one was the Christ. I think the one before the Christ was divine love. So think about it. You know, we are now really moving into that state of divine love. And his initiation about divine love was very interesting. You know, there was this nymph, beautiful woman coming there. They're like, they put that woman there for him to notice, to fall in love with. And at the end, he saw that he cannot just fall for love of one because his, his love is universal and belongs to all, belongs to all it is. It's the source of everything. And he passed an initiation. It was called divine love. And after that, he was the Christ. He got initiated into the rite of Christhood. So we are walking the same initiations, but in a different way because we're now in a different cycles of time. But this is what's happening on every level of these energies that are grounding and anchoring in the planet. We are grounding that through a certain experience which will mirror that in our lives. I really wanted to share this with all of you to make you understand and be aware of your journeys even more. And again, I want to thank each and every soul for contacting me this week. I think there was such amazing contact and community that started to form around Ascension Pioneers and I'm really excited. I'm still collecting your thing photos. You, you, all you have to do is either wear something pink, you know, point towards something pink, hold something pink in your hands, um, stand uh, next to something pink, you know, like flowers, anything, be creative uh, and send it to my email address which I provided in my previous video. I'll keep providing it. It's an ongoing project. And I decided, as I mentioned in my previous video, that, you know, not just now, but from time to time, you know, uh, that I will publish, I'll keep publishing new photos of you that I'll receive. I'll select, I'll always select someone um, that I'll feel guided to uh, with the most creative, inspiring photo that I'll be intuitively guided to who will have one question personal reading with me for free. So, that's my purpose right now. That's what I'm focused on. Also, some holiday cheer. <laughs> I hope you're having a beautiful holiday time wherever you are as well. And don't forget, this Thursday, I have a beautiful radio show with uh, our beloved sister D. It's on Sirius Rising. It's on Block Talk Radio. And I'll keep you notified. So stay connected and enjoy these beautiful rays of divine love. They're, they're not just these linear rays that keep anchoring it's the energy that's flowing all around and all within us so i hope you feel the pink energies as well and take care my beautiful pioneers bye